Greetings, and welcome back to Phasmophobia. Um, this time we'll be doing a professional Grafton farmhouse, which I believe is one of the maps I haven't done yet. Um, at least on the, the uh, uploads. Uh, possible haunting, no real information. Throw in some gear. Almost never bring uh, use the sanity pills, but you never know if I need if I have a hard time getting the evidence. If I need to extend my um, gathering phase and avoid hunts. Uh, if you recall when I did that uh, amateur Bleasdale sanity pills would have been useful on that one because it was all the way in the attic. All right. Let's get this one started and uh, see what we can uh, discover. Well, this one's slow on loading. I guess I haven't played the Grafton Farmhouse in a while. Um, I think the last time I did was before I started recording videos. Yeah, I haven't really run any uh, investigations that I haven't recorded since I started uploading them. Uh, well, no, that's not true. I did have one Grafton farmhouse, but I forgot to record it. Or, or rather, my mic was muted the entire time. EMF, all, all of those are doable. Now, the farmhouses, I think, are the most dangerous houses um, because they have so many areas that remain dark despite lights and they have such large open rooms that there's not really good places to hide. So let's get that. Let's get a strong flashlight. And let's bring in a photo camera. Don't want to make the mistake I made last time of not having it with me when the ghost appears. Yeah, this is only a two-story structure. It doesn't have the attic. It's got a slightly better layout than the Bleasdale. But still, these large open rooms are not very conductive or conducive for hiding if you have to. Can you give us a sign? And also these doors. Oh, that was quick. That credit. Yes. It's hard to tell sometimes if you're not over the threshold of the room whether it's going to credit photos in that room. I didn't even check for the breaker. It's probably upstairs. Can you give us a sign? Oh, it's possible to break. This house is going to be extremely dangerous. I heard a door open. Was it upstairs? Uh, when thrown items can hurt you because there are so many axes in this place. Now, there's one over here at the wood pile. There's a couple in mirrors. Ah! I will be checking for fingerprints. Well, 
while I got my temperature below 50, I think it credited. I'm not positive. I'll leave the thermometer here. And I'll come back with the UV light. But yeah, um, as I was saying in the previous video, a lot of people have been saying the thermometer is too powerful because it makes you able to locate the room quickly. It's not the thermometer that helps you locate the room. It's the ghost being active. In this case, it opened a door. I, the thermometer wasn't helping me until the door was opened. I just used it to verify the room. Yeah, I got the reading. I, I should have probably bought the EMF, but uh, I will hold off on that. Now, I can still search the rest of the house for a Ouija board later. But my priority, as always, is gathering the evidence first. Yeah, see, this area is really dark, even though all the lights are on. Oh, you're flicking the lights. That doesn't leave fingerprints, I don't believe. But that does. Now, let's see if it still holds true on this map. Yes, you have to take it from this side. go ahead and check the light switch. Yeah, it didn't leave one yet, but I can leave that and then go back and get the ca uh, video camera to search for ghost orbs. I don't have a photo of the ghost yet, so I don't want to put down the camera because there's... Actually, I do need an EMF reading, so let me bring the EMF reader in and then the video camera. Um... But yeah, I don't want to miss an opportunity for uh, a ghost photo. I wonder what we're dealing with this time, though. Oh, I just heard you open another door. Or mess with that one again, so I'll have an EMF reading on it. It's a two. I hear you stepping. That was unusual. Um, I was getting a reading, but no sound from the EMF reader. Let's just drop this here for now. Go get a video camera. Set it up in that room. And then bring in... Uh, actually, no, we should bring in the book so it has more time to interact with the book. I mean, I'm going to be in and out of that house. I'd like to get a photo of it, uh, just so I don't have to keep carrying the camera around. It could carry more equipment in. But I really don't want to put down the camera, because if I do, that's when it's going to materialize. That's Murphy's Law, right? Oh, you turned off the light. going to assume. Yep, I was right. It was a fingerprint. So if you've got an idea that it's leaving fingerprints, you don't really need to waste time using the UV light, especially in the case like this where I brought in plenty of extra cameras. So I've got two fingerprint photos. That should probably be $15. Let's bring in this video camera. Get it set up. Because this is the one that really interferes with me using the camera. The photo camera is carrying the tripods. Um, because if I switch over to the photo camera, it's going to drop this. You want that light off. I, I see that. I don't. Yet. But you can turn it off after I get the camera in place. A demonic... Uh, not. I keep saying that. Ghost writing. And EMF 5. Well, that limits the possibilities right there.
Now, since I saw that door move at least twice, uh, that's not a ghost event. That is something that should actually negatively affect my sanity. Yeah, I'm down into the 70s, or borderline 70s. Um, I'll just look at this for a little bit before entering in my evidence. I will probably reposition it facing the other way if ghost orbs is a factor. So we have EMF5 and fingerprints. That gives us Banshee, Revenant, uh, oh wait a minute, we have all the evidence. We're forgetting something. Ghost writing. It's a Revenant. Alright, Revenants. Um, nothing special. So I don't need that anymore. All I need is a photo of the ghost. My sanity is good. Let's see if we can't get it to materialize. I'm not going to spend too awfully long trying to get a ghost to materialize. Um, did you just materialize? Oh, you disappeared! Show yourself! I come around the corner and you vanish. Give us a sign. Oh, you turned on this lamp. Alright, I want to see what these count as. No, it doesn't count as anything unless it's been interacted with, I don't believe. That's what I thought. I didn't think there was like a voodoo doll category. And besides, these aren't technically voodoo dolls. Those are just homemade dolls. Show yourself. Maybe I should go into your room. leave or die. I get it. You don't want me here. Give us a sign. Pose for a picture. Show yourself. Show me. I don't think you're in this room anymore. I wonder if that counts as an interaction photo since he just moved the door. Of course, I used my last photo, so if he does materialize before I make it out of here, nothing I could do. Yes, it does count as an interaction photo if you take a picture of a door or a light switch before they move on to interact with something else. So how's my sanity looking? In the 60s. I can give it just a little bit longer to see if I can get it to materialize. Um, I'd have to lose about 20 points before a revenant can hunt me. Show yourself. Thank you. That's the uh, zombie model with the axe, even though he only appeared as a shade. So we've got every objective. Got a ghost photo, got an interaction photo, got a bone, I believe, and got fingerprints. So that should be fifteen dollars twenty-five. Well, if each of these are like ten, maybe it's only ten for the first photo and five for each other one. But 
let's see if I'd get like 25 or more than 25. But we did get all of the stuff completed. I mean, all the objectives fairly quickly. Of course, we got lucky on the objectives. We didn't have like dirty water or crucifix. Welcome back. Like yeah, just 25 more in photos. I'm still not sure. Sometimes I get 30 in photos. I'm not sure what causes it. I can take multiple photos of the same thing and not get this much. The photos are still a little vague on how they credit for cash. But 235, fairly quick mission. Um, yeah. I need one more contract for my daily challenge, so I might go ahead and do that. But we'll call this an episode. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.